Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4! We are playing as Brazil, and we are busy conquering the entirety of North America over here. We're trying to get our naval presence here up a little bit, and in fact, we did check last time, we have what should be just enough control. I mean, it's not very good, it's only submarines that are doing convoy hunting, but we may be able to sneak across some marines over there. We're just waiting for them to get to a regular level of experience to start off with. And we'll see how it goes. I do have a handful of ships kicking around here. What I could do is grab the destroyers and give them a token admiral. Um, yeah, not going to be necessarily a good one. You are going to get based into Newfoundland. Or, sorry, Nova Scotia, not Newfoundland. And you're going to do convoy escort across the Newfoundland Sea. And possibly Eastern Seaboard, actually. I've just realized. I think that, that includes that area. So it's not a very strong presence, but hopefully it's just enough intel so that we can go. Meanwhile, Germany is uh, prepping a war against the USSR, so it'll be interesting to see exactly how that goes. Meanwhile, the USSR has gotten another landing over here. They are holding that back, but they're moving a lot of troops over there, which could be very distracting. Still having uh, a allied presence down here coming in through the British Raj, which isn't great. And if the, Brit the German Reich starts some trouble, there it is. Well, there it is. Soviet... Wait. What? Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm like, the Soviet Union declared war on Japan. That's not what I expected. But no, it was hiding the thing that came first, which is the German Reich declared war on the Soviet Union. So they're at war here. <laughs> I'm not sure this is good for us, but we'll see. Has El Salvador jumped in here? They're part of the Axis, but it doesn't mean they got called into the war. We'll see. Um, call to arms from the Soviet Union. Yeah, no, of course, we'll say yes. Yeah, there's no way this doesn't expand. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Okay. And, oh, we're actually not pushing here right now? Okay, I'm gonna get rid of all these pop-ups. How many figs are defending here? Holy crap! Holy crap, they have a lot more in El Salvador than I expected. Okay. Well, let's get some actual tanks over there. I mean, I don't expect them to be able to bust out. And we do have some tanks, that's true. But that is um, quite a lot tougher than I expected. Huh. Coast Guard deployment stuff. Um, well, we'll get you to deploy here. And I know you don't have any experience points, but that's okay. Just mostly just get rid of that. Um, we're going to get another unit there. We're going to get another unit here. And... These guys are actually going to be guarding these coasts. Japan can't hit the uh, the west coast instantly, which is good. But we do have to worry about them doing something like that at some point. We have a presence. We'll have to reorganize that later on, but that's going to be a start. God damn. Germany breaks the pact. Indeed they do. Italy. Yeah, there might be a few more of those. I don't know. At this point, everyone might get called in. I'm not sure. Oh, it looks like we are going to break through down here, which is nice. We've got our tanks a little bit spread out. Yeah, yeah, they're all running away over there. And it's possible that the capital won't have enough supply to handle as many troops as they've got in there. Uh, East Coast. Yeah, we still get lots of pop-ups about potential naval invasions, but it's been a while since we've seen one. Are you at regular? You are at regular. So stop training. Uh, we'll give you some sort of general. And we are going to prep our naval invasion, which is going to be from here to... Do we want to do the multi-province click at this point? Or do we want to make sure to land... No, we just want to land everyone in one place. That's going to be fine. And then an offensive line to push through to the back. And you can go. It's going to take 35 days to prep, so that's going to be perfectly okay, and I'm fine with that. All right. British Parliament debates intervention in Scandinavia. Okay. That'll be interesting to see. Norway's already part of the Allies, whereas uh, Finland and uh, uh, Sweden are neutral. I mean, I know Finland's not Scandinavia, blah, blah, blah. Anyway. Um, and Denmark is no longer in existence, so. All right, you guys are prepping. I guess you guys to all halt your current attack, or not. I don't know. These are green. Is this... Oh, that's not the right gold army. This is the old army. 
Right, right, right. So you got plenty of tanks. A lot of people are still arriving. Yeah, you'll be fine. Um, San Salvador will fall at some point. But we'll have to just probably whittle them down a little. So that's doing that. Let's take a look at our resistance map mode, which is still surprisingly resisty. But it's a lot of that adjacency stuff. We don't have much of a presence over here, and it's still holding the resistance at bay. Indeed it is. Um, it's actually still growing over here, which is pretty stunning, but it is adjacent to a lot of stuff. Here, minus 10. Could we move people out of here? Divisions in state is minus 70, and there's what? There's only one division in there, so nah, we definitely can't trim that down anymore. This is all right, though. Um, and I think especially if we trim down one more of a neighbor, so we're going to get another horsey unit to be in Texas. Actually, I tell you what, I'll do a strategic redeployment with that. Um, that might turn Texas away from being in rebellion, which again, will have a big, just continuous cascade effect. And you guys are moving over, so that's going to be fine. Do we need two in Mexico City? Yeah, we sort of kind of do. I think it would grow otherwise. Anyone? We still have some more MPs. You know what? We're going to get them deployed. And we're going to send them up to... Let's let's take care of the Texas issue. Uh, strategic relief we're deploy over there. And then we'll move as like this roaming pack on the cusp. That's actually a pretty good idea. Okay. So, we don't really have anything to do over here. I mean, it'll help once our tanks arrive and whatnot. It's just we don't really have our, our true force going on here. Um, that's these guys, right? Yeah, just halt your current attack. And then reorganize and then figure it out. And they go right away again. 21 divisions in here. Now, we don't actually know how strong they are. Well, actually, it's pretty strong. It doesn't seem to be much in the way of artillery. It's pure infantry, uh, which is not bad for us. We've got our heavy tanks that, well, they're not actually all attacking yet. We'll have the surround bonus. We have a decryption advantage. We have no commander. Let's go and, actually, we don't really need our level 7 commander anywhere. Let's go and put you here. You've got the jungle rat as well. Is this actually jungle? What's the train here? No, it's hills. Uh, but that's okay. Um... Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah, that should be okay. We could get some air cover as well to help out, but I think we're going to be fine. Any real invasions? Not that I can tell. Did we miss a spot there? We may have. Let me trim you way down, grab one of you, and do that. Uh, you need to finish doing this. Actually, all the way to the end. And then when you're done, you're going to do that. Thank you very much. Meanwhile, you're still prepping? Yeah, yeah. We got a lot of days to wait before that naval invasion goes. We have a good amount of convoys. We're still building them. We're going to need a lot once we actually go overseas. Right now, we've been pretty lucky about the amount of shipping we have to do, which is not much. But the supply cost overseas is going to go kind of ridiculous. It uh, looks like... Oh, no. A little bit more. Carrier 2 done. Okay. Um, I mean, maybe I should have just gone battleships. Well, the carriers build a little bit faster. They do need the planes to be built and researched, actually. We need to get the aerial version of our planes. But we can worry about that later. Free military factories. El Salvador has capitulated. There we go. As expected. Um, how are we looking overall? We got some of everything. Yeah, you know what? I think we will want more naval bombers. It's mostly smashed factories, so we're not actually going to be adding anything over here. And I'm not going to spend the XP on things yet either, but yeah, we do need to unlock the other planes. Okay, so this gold squad over here has taken out El Salvador, and then we don't really need a presence over here. Um, again, we're going to get the motorized division down here to help out with the garrison reactions down there. Otherwise, I think... Oh, are you really having problems over there? Well, everything will get resolved. Yeah, that'll be okay. So I'm going to get these guys to meet up over here in Halifax, which is potentially going to be incredibly overwhelmed with, um, with demand. Or we're going to get the infrastructure in Nova Scotia and New Brunswick up, because a lot of the uh, the stuff is going to flow through here into the port and then out. Uh, maybe not, actually. I'm, I'm saying that. Um, you're eight. You're fine. Uh, let's get the coast up to seven, though. It'll help with some of our movement as well. Um, I guess, actually, a lot of it is likely to 
actually come out of our home. I don't know how the naval base, if they go closest or if they go closest to um, the source of our goods. Okay, we already have a cube put up there. Oh, that's right. I actually did that a while ago. I got a bunch of level 10 bases queued up. Meanwhile, any real invasions happening? No, just a lot of noise. Just a lot of noise. Okay, good. Um, we will probably need to leave some actual unit in um, San Salvador. Some of these new MPs that we built will do that. Are you just standing? Oh yeah, you're doing some rebel busting there, which is actually fine and good. Uh, because it's probably, yeah, so this is its own zone with rebellion possibility. So we'll have to get some people sitting in there. But that's what the three new cavalry will be. Meanwhile, did that 14 stack arrive? Or 10 stack? Yeah, they're coming slowly but surely. Meanwhile, that's looking a lot better. Uh, the red guys, I'm going to move these guys out of there. Because at some point, they're not going to be sticking around anyway. And it'll be a good test to see uh, what the rebellion status of these places are. Same thing here, like, these guys are not meant to stick around and defend these ports in the long run, but for now it's going to be okay. Meanwhile, how are you doing? 18 days. Naval battle. Lost the sub. Destroyed a destroyer, that's interesting. Lots of reports over here. Uh, oh, another invasion going on there. How's our motorized coming along? They just need a location. We get them to pop in here. Obviously, they're going to be green, but that's going to be okay. Um, and then cancel this. I think we only wanted the five. That's going to be okay. So I'm going to add you to an army as part of the garrison group. I'm going to make you, I don't know, red. Red ones go faster. Let's give you a rank one general. We'll move you into that and then a little bit more central afterwards. I mean, you're going to go in with no organization. It'll be okay. Not that I'm sure how fast you'll move through all this jungle and mountain anyway, although our infrastructure's gotten a lot better over here, so I actually think they're going to move at a relatively decent clip. Yeah, these are all in reserve with no organization, but it should be okay. We can do this thing again. Just get an actual organized person in there. That's going to be fine. Okay. Slow-ass freaking research. How is the front? That is not good. <laughs> USSR, come on, man. I can't do everything. I'm only one country. I mean, don't get me wrong. Brazil is relatively large at the start, but I've taken over the entire Americas. Oh, God damn it. Oh, God damn it. There's still this going on, too. Like, what else can I do? Can I get troops over there in some fashion? Well, probably. I could probably ferry across from here to there. Maybe. I mean, Jesus, even that range is pretty ludicrous. God, it takes so long to finish off this. I mean, we can potentially cross over there, especially if there's naval base. We've got the naval base there. It would be nice to get a naval base built up over here, because that might be a good way to move people across, especially if we get some infrastructure. But, I mean... I can't just keep spamming out infrastructure all day long, right? It's, there's a limit. We'll get these up to three for now, and we'll see how that goes. That was my next destroyer. Yeah. Advanced artillery, which is good. Don't get me wrong. Um, we're going to need uh, the improved landing crafts for the reduced times. I mean, bigger invasions is one. I don't think we need more than 10 right now, but there's a pretty big invasion bonus as well, which we're interested in. Any real invasions? Keep hearing the sound, but it looks like the answer is no. I mean, it's 45. Shouldn't the USSR have, like, turned... Well, I mean, they may still just be moving a lot of troops. That is a thing. It takes a long time for the USSR to move their troops around, but this front against Japan is actually really bad for us. Really bad. And maybe that's what I gotta do, is ship things over. I guess what I could do... No, I don't think I trust the AI to do this. But as I say, I could just give them troops as in... Um, not volunteers, because we're in the war together, but the expeditionary force, it would give them control over things. The things would start in my territory, but he'd be able to ship it over. But do I trust his ability to do that? Mm, not so much. And even here, are there no naval bases over here? 
Oh shit, so I can't even ship across over here. Even if I build a naval base, they don't have a naval base here. I could ship to over here, but that means going through Japan, which means we're going to get sunk. I don't think I can get troops to freaking USSR. So, you know what? It's going to move eastwards. We'll have to go through the United Kingdom into Germany. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Got to do everything around here. Right, so you guys are that response team, which is great. Uh, you can be added to purple, actually. You as well. Boop. Yeah, I don't, I don't care about these. Well, I mean, sort of, but not really. Ah. <sighs> Oh, we're going. They do have an actual fleet over here, which does not make me happy. But we are moving over here. Anything else I can just throw in over there? That's some subs. Um, convoy escort doesn't really make any sense for submarines. So yeah, I'll just keep doing convoy rating. It's okay. Yeah, we'll get a, another convoy raid going on in this area once more. Because again, it's very bottlenecky. And that's a level 4 submarines and some level 3s. They're, they're getting a little bit better. We've got our doctrines in place. Our planes are going. It's submarines. I'm not seeing our convoys in here. So I don't think our convoy is actually getting caught up in this. Which is nice. I'm not sure though. And there is still this. Uh, you know what we should do is get some planes operating over here. What's our... New Jersey. We really don't have a, an airport right over here. Not that that range is terrible. Oh, yeah, we have tons of CAS in place now, which is nice. We could actually... I think I can stop the CAS production. I mean, it's full efficiency and it hurts, but... Do we really need more than a thousand CAS planes at any point? Not really. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and kill that. Get more naval bombers going. It's only the three, and they're not the uh, the carrier ones yet, but that's all right. Come on, boat. Oh, oh, no, this is they're they're getting caught there. Can I like abort? I can reassign my wings, actually. That's good. All right, I've got an aircraft base over here. They can help out. Um, this is going to be the highest priority one for reinforcements. Hmm. I think they're going to get just taken out here. I have to get a slightly better defensive fleet up over there, but it is going to take us a while. Modify government. No, we're okay there. Yeah, yeah, we're losing our convoys. And they're just going to continue to get obliterated. But maybe our bombers can do something while these guys are busy. It's alright. It's alright. We'll just try to have a better naval presence for the next one. Um, meanwhile... Alright, some defensive battles are starting to be won, which is good. None of the counterattacks, but the defensive battles are starting to... They're starting to hold. Same thing here. There's some amount of holding going on, which crossed our fingers. Once the uh, Soviet Union get their troops redeployed, things might get better. It looks like, okay, they've cleared out this area, which is good. It's going to free up some more things as well. Very, 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 very handy. Um, can I lend lease them something? I actually don't know what they don't what they need, which is interesting. I could give them a one-shot thing of obsolete equipment. Not monthly. There we go. One time. It still has to reach over there. That will give us them, um, a couple thousand of those. Artillery. A couple thousand units of that. I don't know if they'll ship over there successfully, but we'll see. That's something I can at least do. 
All right, so I'm sure, yeah, those guys, they all got destroyed. Need more of a presence. These submarines are getting repaired. Um, I do have, like, an improved level of destroy. I could start on that, but I think I'm going to wait until the third. Yeah, it's going to take a long time before we get any real freaking uh, naval tech. Let alone a little bit to do something about it. Uh, oh, no, that's all me. Who is this? Oh, Soviet Union has some dudes over here. Uh, that's that's very generous of you, but I really don't need it. Don't even know how you got here and didn't without dying. But I appreciate your efforts. All right, you take all that, which is going to be good. Um, yeah, I think I might attempt to build a naval base here, one way or the other. But I don't think I can do a transport from here to here. I could, in a sense, do a naval invasion, but you can't naval invade a friendly. I could naval invade these little places, which are probably undefended. And that would probably be helpful, but even then I'm not sure what kind of a difference it makes. And I'd have to get some ships over there, actually. Which is not very helpful. Hmm. Heavy cruiser. So still got the carriers. Still got that... Still got this going on. So yeah, I'm going to get some more heavy cruiser tech. Um, what I want to do is grab half these naval bombers. I want to move them back to Nova Scotia. And then I want to get them to patrol the Newfoundland Sea. Do I not have any fighters around here? I thought I had them. Well, you're parked in New Jersey. So I'm going to grab you, split you in half, put you in Nova Scotia, and then you'll patrol the Newfoundland Sea as well. Actually, oh, I can't split you in half anymore because you're just transferring. But I was going to say I want some in the eastern seaboard, but I guess I could pretty much just... Oh, we still have that. Okay, yeah, good. Oh, um, and that's part of Newfoundland Sea, okay. So this, this Navy presence here, yeah, all right, that works out for me. <sighs> I still don't know what's going to happen with the Soviet Union there. I think they're in a lot of trouble. I've done my job. <laughs> I just want out of this war now. I just want to keep what I've got. I want a separate piece. Now, that's not really a thing, but that is what I want. All right, a little bit of damage. Uh, we'll have to start doing some port strikes over here, probably. Is this, what air zone is this in? Eastern Canada air zone. Republic of Turkey joined the German Reich. Oh, no! Whoa, laggy, laggy, laggy. Um, that is a little bit unpleasant. Because it doesn't look like the Soviets have any presence over here. So we're going to have to move some things. This front is now holding, which is really nice to see. Well, not everywhere, but mostly. So, again, hopefully we're, like, changing the, the, the flow here. But, ugh, very concerned. Very concerned about our Soviet friends. All right, let's take a look at our... Resistance map mode over here. Excellent. We did take care of Texas. So I'm going to do that. Is it F6? All right. I'm going to have to remember that hotkey. Yeah, just keep just marching across and then eventually get this resolved here. Lost our convoys. Boo! Ooh! That's unpleasant. Hmm, yeah, that was my big stack of submarines over there. I don't think they were the latest uh, model, though. I'm not sure. All right, laws, free dockyards, although a lot of our dockyards are damaged, so it's not 100% accurate. We're pumping out a ton of convoys, which I'm still okay with. I mean, a ridiculous number of them, uh, but just trying to get that critical mass, and then we'll switch over to the production. So you can tell I don't actually have any naval bases to assign. It's a bit of a lie, because they're all damaged. I wonder if there's a way that I could, I could turn that off. Don't, don't prompt me about assigning broken convoys. I don't care. An airdrop here would probably be a lot better. You know what? Let's do that. Let's get um, one division. 
Now, this might be defended. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mini paratrooper, which are basically nothing. These are effectively not even a real division. And over here, we're going to deploy our transports. We don't, we don't need this many, but I may as well go ahead and deploy them all. And I'm just going to wait for the transports to arrive. And for these guys, have to complete their move anyway. Okay, they're not there yet. That's okay. We can still plan. We can't quite reach. Now, if I recall correctly from our Japanese campaign, this there were people here. I don't know. We'll try it. Again, this is a very, very disposable little squad. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, you guys. Um, cancel all your orders. Halt all your move. I gotta make these guys be their own separate thing. There we go. Now, you're gonna paratroop drop from here to here. Most likely, you're gonna die. But, maybe there's no one there. And also, if you don't die right away, we might actually get some really helpful information about what's sitting there. And decide if we want to land with a full force or not. Are they zero transports? Like, are you moving? Can't even tell. There they are. Ah, and there's no one there. Ooh. That's a great little snag. Now, you can't get out of here right now. Because there's no airport. But I'm going to go ahead and just build an airbase here. Um, airbase. There. We only need level one. That's going to be fine. I'm going to move you up to the top of the queue. And then we'll be able to drop from there onto here. Denies another uh, naval base too, which is handy. I don't know how critical it is. It's been a while since anyone's tried to invade us over here, which is, which is a nice change. I'll take Denmark and everything too. It'd be nice to keep doing the aerial thing, but at some point we do need control over these seas. But ugh, I don't know. Maybe a bunch of little level one airfields, and just keep dropping that way is going to be the way to go. It will deny them the um, the naval bases over here, too, which actually will help us to be able to move some troops around. That might be that might be a very legitimate path to doing this. And I love the, like, micro-stack of, um, of paratroopers here. For reference, it's literally just a single battalion of paratroopers with no add-ons. Add so if, uh, if they die, it doesn't do anything to us. throw in that way. It's been a while since we've actually been invaded, so, you know, kudos to you guys for that happening again. I'm hoping we can even reach across here. I suspect an airport from here can reach there, but I'm not 100% sure. Meanwhile, ooh, Soviet Union's actually pushing back in a couple places successfully, which is nice. How about the Japanese front? Now, Japan's still pushing forward, but I'm not sure how far they can push into this territory, which is just, like, garbage territory. Very, very, very low infrastructure. Um, you know, uh, forest, mountains. Their ability to have supply over here is going to be harsh. And it costs the, US, the USSR nothing, really, to lose some territory over here. It's not that significant, as long as we can take care of Germany. But I'm a long way to being able to help over there, since I don't have that naval presence. And, you know, maybe I should have started powering through that earlier. Whoa! That does not make me very happy. Oh my, they, yeah, they, they landed a bunch of troops over there. They're still out of supply, but we can't let them actually take this base. We're holding for now, though. Yeah, they being out of supply is hugely important for us, but we may want to keep a little bit more of a presence there going forward. Um, these MPs, you guys, we're going to go to San Salvador, and then we'll split you off afterwards. Um, I'm wondering about keeping some heavy tanks over here. Permanently. Oh, there's another group of land. You know what? Rush to here, and then we'll figure out what we do afterwards. Come on, hold. There's not that many of you, but luckily. Uh, right, so yeah, that stopped your strategic redeployment. I'm going to go across here. You're not going to have a whole lot of organization. But then these guys are not strategically redeploying. So they're going to have more organization. Okay, it was enough to stop them. And now I don't think that they'll actually be able to do anything. Okay, that was very scary though. Meanwhile, over here, let's get the tanks up in here. 
fight that off, and then that should be more than enough. I mean, tanks aren't as good at defending, but they're still going to do fine. Did we get our airfield here? We did. So what I can do is... Um, yeah, just trash transports, that's fine. I think uh, deploying them from the supply takes longer than just moving them, but that's okay. I'm going to do this, and then you are going to be told to do a paratroop drop from here uh, onto here. And go. No divisions. Oh, because you still had your old orders. Right, 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 right. Yeah, that happens. From here to there. So there might turn out to be something there. There might not be. If there is, oh well. I'm not going to land adjacent, then attack. I mean, we're still too weak for that. Heavy tank 3 is done. We're going to get to the modern tank. And we're just going to go from, from heavy tank 2 to modern tank production. I'm going to skip heavy tank 3. We could go into production for a little while, but no, we're just going to go into modern tank, and then we're going to change our, our so-called heavy tank divisions to modern tank divisions over time. Ooh, they landed here. We're getting a little bit better at that, probably because they've gotten their better... Um, Naval Invasion Tech. Still not hitting any empty places, but they don't necessarily know it's empty. Plus there's, you know, range considerations, different things, but... I mean, we still don't have a real Navy to defend our coast, so they do have the ability to attack many, many areas. Oh, this is brilliant! Look at this! That worked out a lot better than expected. Um, I'm gonna get another airfield queued up over here. I don't know if we need to rush it, although they do build really fast, so what the hell. Oh, you have... Oh, that's part of the same zone. Okay, fair enough. You're going to go and clean this all up, and then just make your way back over there. And then we're going to figure out what we don't do next. Um, I expect that we don't have the range over here. I mean, I guess I could see. I could click on this from here. Oh, bastard. I don't want to click on the airport. I want to click on the province. But you're so tiny. Oh, and I just clicked on... Just the province. There we go. No. With an airfield there, we might be able to reach it, but I suspect we'll probably have to go into a proper um, naval invasion. And we'll have to trust our naval bombers to give us superiority over here, which does mean we need more airports. Um, but yeah, out of curiosity, if I take half of you, say, and just move you over here, we'll check to see what the range from there is, but there's no way that it's going to be enough. But what I think we are going to have to do is get an extra few levels... And maybe we will be able to build an airfield in here as well. There we go. Next are a few levels of airfields so that we can have enough naval bombers. That'll be 600, which is going to be a good number from each one of those. Do something like 500 naval bombers plus 100 fighters for some escort. That should be pretty effective, although we'll still need some actual ships over there. Let's take a look at our resistance map mode. God damn it, Texas. Send some dudes over there. You guys can get out over here. Is it F6? Yeah, F6. Um, minus 10. There's still the, the neighboring state problem. Um, take half of you, move you up here. Garrison's... Oh, yeah. It's actually moving up there, which is good. Getting some attrition over here. That's how bad the infrastructure is there, but it will start to flow again. I mean, I could take a look at the infrastructure, and now, yeah, it's, it's actually okay, unless some of it's been damaged, which is probably the case. Rebels didn't really have a whole lot of other things to smash, other than infrastructure over here. Alright, I think what I'm going to do at this point is, I'm going to, well, we're going to put in a cut, but I think I'm going to go and just disband all my air wings, and then redo this all. I mean, we're going to keep... A lot of them are going to still be the same. Uh, I was going to check the transports, but these guys... There's got to be a better way to do this. You know what I mean? I hit escape to reveal one. Do this, do this, escape. Like, I feel like there's got to be a faster way. I realize that, like, this this idea of, like, bulk cancel and redeploy is, you know, it's more of a... It's not something you would really do very often in real life, but you also have a full squad of uh, fuel... Um, uh, a full team of people helping you reorganize your troops. 
Are well, you just sitting there? I don't know why you're there. Go ahead and bop you out. Yeah, all right, that's gonna be fine. And we would like to kill these. Well, actually, it doesn't matter. They can sit here and just attrition themselves forever. I don't care. It's actually perfectly fine. Because we'd have the naval crossing, although we wouldn't be out of supply. Because there's no, there's no naval base there. We do have, you know, if I moved all the tanks and everything over there, we actually might be able to do surprisingly okay. We'll give it a try and see. But we're going to put a cut in here for now. Thank you very much for watching, folks, and I'll see you guys next time.